Well, good afternoon, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 10th of April, 2022 here, Sunday afternoon. I wish it looked as nice out these windows uh, here outside our studio here today, but it uh, does not look this good. It's about uh, 40 degrees, uh, winds gusting to 43 miles an hour, and some rain snow showers. So again, not a happy camper here today. Looking at the last week's summer here on the National Retail Calendar. So this is a big map showing trends for last week, ending Saturday, year over year, how it's different uh, than a year ago. Here in the U.S., cold, 7.1 degrees cold in last year. Cold in four years, 14th cold in 37 years, below average national temperatures. Wetter, uh, wettest in three years, and eighth wettest in 37 years, so above average there. And more snow than last year, about 159% more, but still below average. Um, chart, bottom right, shows the trends across the world here. The real warm spot would probably be uh, China, warmest in 13 years. Uh, India, warmest in six years. Uh, but again, on a world scale, we were the coolest in seven years. Um, precip trends, temp trends versus average are inset left. Looking at a recap here of uh, here spring to date. So meteorological spring started one March uh, through through nine April here. Here in the U.S., we've been trending about 2.6 degrees colder than last year. Coldest three years, still 13th warmest in 37 years. But again, that map inset bottom left there shows the uh, trends versus last year. So much, much colder for about 80% of the country. West Coast, Florida. Um, Trending warmer than last year, but uh, the rest of us, especially up there in North Dakota, Minnesota, just much, much colder than last year. Also wetter than last year, 9% wetter. Uh, wettest in five years, 13th wettest in 37 years, so above average there. 96% more snow so far this spring, uh, most in three years, still below average. Um, again, you can see the maps there shows the uh, kind of wet there in the heartland, uh, Illinois, Iowa, uh, Wisconsin, Great Lakes, um, even here in the northeast and parts of North Florida. Very, very dry, obviously, uh, toward the west. Tornadoes continue their toward pace here. We added uh, about another 100 tornadoes here last week. So 445 tornadoes so far this year, 81% more than last year, 62% above average, most in five years, top 15 percentile. So just a very, very active start uh, compared to last year. And unfortunately, and we look at these trends here this week from the severe storm folks, again, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you see just a high threat for another major outbreak uh, in, the, in the heartland and steadily progressing toward the, toward the southeast. So again, be on guard here because this could be a very, very active pattern here uh, for this week ahead. Look at this week again, week ending uh, 16 April here, um, cold. So the reason for that tornadic activity is another strong cold front. So really cold, clashing with the warm. We're probably going to get into the near 70s uh, here in the east um, midweek and clashing with that really cold weather. Obviously in the middle is where you could have that severe weather. And then the bottom falls out. That cold weather is going to sweep across pretty much the whole country as we get toward Easter Sunday. Um, but the week overall, still 0 0.3 warmer than last year, warmest in three years, 16th colds in 37 years, so below average. If there's a hot spot, it's going to be down in Texas. And again, the East Coast, we're going to have some 70s before the uh, bottom falls out here by the weekend. Uh, rainfall up, 65% wetter than last year, 7th wettest in 37 years, above average, and most snow in 37 years. Again, it's the high elevations of the West and the mountains, but uh, even moving into Dakota and Minneapolis, we'll see in uh, Minnesota, we'll see how Heavy if it will indeed be that heavy, but uh, potential for a major, major snowstorm here. If you look at the uh, six-day snowfall trends here, show 209% uh, more snow than last year, 240% above average, number one most in 37 years. So we'll see about all that purples. <laughs> it's implying that we could have over 18 inches of snow in parts of the Dakotas and parts of Minnesota. So um, again, definitely not spring in the uh, Upper Plains Midwest. This chart just helps to put in perspective again, uh, trumping the the big year in 2013 when it was about 300 inches on a national index basis. Um, so again, this is going to be a snowy week for sure. Looking at the uh, next week here again, uh, third week of April through the 23rd, <clears throat> cold. Um, uh, while warmer than last year, two degrees warmer than last year, still third coldest in 37 years. So last year was the coldest in over 37 years, epically cold. This year, a, a bit warmer, but um, <clears throat> again, still pretty cold. 16% wetter than last year, 14th driest in 37 years, so below average. Again, we'll have to watch for another round of severe weather where they don't want it <clears throat> in the central U.S. and uh, even moving in parts of the mid-Atlantic. Less snow than last year, but still probably going to be talking about above average snowfall. So again, with this cold weather lingering. We aggregate these two-week trends here. If you're trying to think about someplace warmer, you might have to go way south, Florida, Texas. Uh, the rest of us look to be kind of on the cold side here for Alaska, Canada, and uh, again, part of uh, most of you know the United States. Europe a tad warmer. Again, uh, Western Europe is better than Eastern Europe. And uh, preset maps, inset left. Well, with that, folks, we hope you have a great week. And uh, we will be back here again this time next week.